All right, unfortunate news, but I was kind of expecting this. Manny Machado, he is going on the injured list. Bob Melvin, he told that to the media earlier today at Petco Park. Padres take on the Red Sox later tonight at 640. So Brandon Dixon, he has been called up, and he is playing first base for the Padres tonight. I'll have pregame thoughts in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but with, with Manny, I mean, he was going to go on the IL if he was not feeling great today, I think. And I think this is the right move. And today he spoke to the media and was talking about how the range of motion is better, but he still felt pain there. And so this is different. Like he acknowledged to the media. I saw this from Dennis Lynn uh, of The Athletic in a tweet. Like he acknowledged that this is different from his ankle sprain last season where he could rehab it and all that and still come back really soon and it's just it's just different. A sprain is different from a fracture. This is a fracture. So I don't know how long Manny's going to be out, obviously, and he probably doesn't know. He's going to work his butt off to get back as soon as he possibly can. Uh, but, I mean, to the media, after the Padres lost that Royal series, Manny didn't play in that last game or the game before that. But after that series, he was speaking to the media in the clubhouse, and he brought up six weeks. He was like, maybe it's two weeks, maybe it's six weeks. I, I don't know. So I, he probably got that six, this, that six-week number from somewhere, I'd imagine, right? I don't think he's just throwing that number out there. So maybe that's how long he does end up being out. I would think that it, it's less because it is Manny Machado. But again, this is, this is a fracture. It's not a sprain. I'm not a doctor, but sprains, I would imagine, like if you really rehabbed it like Manny did, Around the clock, you could get back faster than if it's just fractured. It's if it's fractured, it's fractured. You know, if it's sprained, it's just different. You could probably come back sooner, and that's what obviously we saw from Manny. Like last year, if that was a fracture, then he would not have come back when he did. Brandon Dixon, I'm not going to be expecting him to be the savior of the San Diego Padres. I'm not expecting. Rugnet Odor or any of these bottom of the order guys to be the, the savior. What, what I want is for the bigger guys in this lineup, the Xander Bogarts is of the word, world, the Jake Cronenworths of the world, the Juan Sotos of the world to come through when they have runners on base or just to play better in general, not even just with runners in scoring position, but just in general. Juan Soto has been better, but Bogarts has not had a good month of May. Jake Cronenworth, same thing there. So I think they need to be better. And obviously, you know, with Manny being out, there's going to be a lot more pressure, I think, on those guys. Because if you're really watching this team every day, I don't think you should have high expectations for Austin Nola to, you know, go save this team right now. You know, guys at the bottom of the order. How about the guys that are getting paid $20 million, $30 million a year? The guy that that is... uh Again, Soto's playing well, but the guy that's trying to get a $500 million contract, like that's where the focus is going to be. I think a lot of the focus was on Manny Machado so far this season, and I put a lot of that focus on him as well with the new contract, and he is just not himself. Um, his OPS Plus is well below league average this year. His home runs are down through 44 games. Everything is down. Just not the same guy. And so I put a lot of it on him. Now. We can't put it all on him for however this team's going to be playing, right? We got to be looking at other guys. And the next guys we're going to turn to is Juan Soto, is Jake Cronenworth, is Xander Bogarts. It's those big guys. So I'm interested in seeing how they play this weekend without Manny Machado in the lineup. I know some will say, and I, I probably said this in the show either yesterday or the day before, like, yeah, Manny, it's not like he was playing well anyway. But at the same time, like, you know, it's Manny Machado. When Austin Nola steps up to the plate, are we thinking, man, this guy can turn it around right here and turn around his season? No. Manny Machado, I mean, you can think that when he's going up to the plate, like realistically think that. So that's one less threat uh, in the lineup for the Padres. And now that guy is substituted by Brandon Dixon, who doesn't scare any pitcher in the big leagues, I, I would assume. Um, good El Paso numbers, but it's El Paso. Let's see what he... I, 
I don't even know if he's going to get consistent playing time. Just today, he's in the lineup. I would think that they're going to have Matt Carpenter play some first base. They're going to have Crony play more second base than first base during this time that Manny's out, obviously. Unless they want to have Odor be out there with Crony at first. I guess they could, but I'm not someone that's going to sit here and have a ton of confidence in Odor. I'd probably rather just have Carpenter and Cruz in the lineup than Rugnet Odor in there. Maybe that's just me, but yeah, this is, this is a blow. And now the question is, how long is Manny going to be out? Bob Melvin, I'm looking at the Annie Halbrin tweet here that just came out. Machado will be able to come back for the New York series so long as he's ready to go, Bob Melvin said. Uh, they don't think it needs to be fully healed, just enough to tolerate pain and grip the bat. Obviously, things can change, and they'll assess depending on healing slash feeling. So, yeah, I think Manny, I, I would assume that he's going to be back by that New York series because when Bob Melvin's saying it doesn't need to be fully healed, then we know Manny's going to come back as soon as he possibly can, as long as he can grip the bat and swing because that's just who he is. He wants to be on the field. He does not want to be on the IL. This is the first time that he's going on the IL since 2014. Obviously, last year, look, you know, hindsight, Probably should have went on the IL, had that extra bench spot. Now the Padres, they get that extra spot. And today it's going to Brandon Dixon. We'll see if other roster moves are made uh, position player-wise as we go here with Manny on the IL. Um, because if Brandon Dixon doesn't work, then the Padres might want to go with someone like Jose Iglesias, right? So someone like that. Or have just Odor go down and bring up someone like Jose Iglesias. So we'll see. Disappointing, obviously. Uh, Padres fans are not going to be able to see Manny this weekend against the Red Sox or in that next series, their first series of the road trip. But maybe he comes back in that New York series. All right. Pre-game thoughts coming up. 